Hey, welcome and good evening, everybody, to this uh, Mining City presentation on this Wednesday evening. Um, wherever you are tuning in from around the world, welcome. We are glad to have you here and we appreciate that you are spending some time with us to hear what we have to say. And um, yeah, to all the people on the call this evening, that's already part of Mining City. I hope it's going well with each and every one of you and that you are enjoying your mining returns and your profits. It's really exciting times. And um, yeah, I hope, I hope after this presentation, we can get a lot of other people excited as well and um, to welcome them aboard on this awesome journey that we're on. Guys, I'm going to ask you guys to just keep your mics muted for the duration of the presentation. If you do have any questions, please feel free to put something in the chat box and I will have a look at that after the presentation and give some answers. And I will also give everyone an opportunity at the end of the presentation to raise a hand and ask a question and we will answer one or two of those. Um, so yeah, other than that, sit back, let us start this and um, let's get it going. I'm going to stop my video. I don't want you guys to get distracted and I will put it on again afterwards. So let's get going. We're going to start off with a little intro video regarding Mining City. Then I'm going to introduce you to the company and then we're going to take it from there. That was just a quick glimpse of our mining city facility. So those white containers that you saw in the video there, they actually house the Bitcoin miners. And those little small white computers that you saw in there, that is what you call a Bitcoin miner. Okay. So guys, the company that we are a part of is called Mining City. Mining City has got a parent company called Mine Best. And please feel free to go and follow these companies on social media, see what they are about, see what projects they are busy with, and how much time and effort they are putting into making mining profitable to its members. Right? So the guy on top is EL. Um, Fanya, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. EL is the CEO of MindBest. And MindBest is basically the company that puts all the technologically advanced infrastructure together. So they, they put up all these big mining facilities, right? Whereas um, Mining City, which is the CEO of Mining City at the bottom is Greg. Mining City is an initiative that brings together people who want to unite their strength and increase their chance to mine Bitcoin. So they are giving us the opportunity to mine some Bitcoins. Guys, for those of you who don't know, if you want to mine Bitcoin, let's say in South Africa, it's not profitable because there's a couple of things that you need in order to mine Bitcoin correctly. And that is why this facility is up in Kazakhstan. Um, Kazakhstan has got a couple of advantages when it comes to mining. And I'm going to name a couple of them. So first and foremost is they use hydroelectric power, right? So the power is much cheaper, which is one of the key things to make your mining profitable. Um, they have constant power supplies. So no power outages or load shedding like we have here with us. And also because it is in the old Russia, it gets very cold. So they don't have to spend so much money on keeping those machines cooler. Okay. And all of that is a recipe for success when it comes to mining. So just a brief introduction to the company. Guys, I'm going to start off by saying that I am not a financial advisor. I cannot tell you what you need to do with your money or what you should do with your money. I'm simply going to present you an opportunity that's been working for me and thousands of people around the world. And we are making good money out of this in these exciting times, as I've mentioned. And hopefully after this presentation, we have you excited as well to get on board with us. So we always start the presentation with this little slide that comes out of the book Cashflow Quadrant from Mr. Robert Kiyosaki. And I hope a lot of you knows Mr. Robert Kiyosaki or have read his books. If you haven't, do yourselves a favor, go and get his books, go and see what he tells us on how we should be seeing 
and spending our money, where we should be placing our money, how we should be doing it, and where we should be investing in. Because what Robert says is that we, we are, um, since we are small or little, we get taught to become part of the system, right? Which means that we get taught from a young age, we need to go to school. After that, we need to go and study if possible, then go and work for a boss for 40 years, and then go and retire. Okay, we all know that doesn't quite work as well as that. It's not as simple as that. So what he has done is he's put, a, uh, he's, um, put the two sides of the quadrant, the left-hand side and also the right-hand side. So the left-hand side is the bulk of the world population, is your employees and your self-employed. These people are blessed, apparent, um, especially in these um, times that we are in with the pandemic, the corona pandemic, because they have a job, right? But Robert says that if you have a job, you are just over broke. He says because people live from paycheck to paycheck or bonus to bonus. He says, and that's not how you should be going through life. Okay. So when you're on the left-hand side, you also need to trade your time for money. If you don't work, if you don't go into the office, you don't get up in the mornings, people, you will not get paid. So you are trading your time for money. Okay. Then the scary thing is on the left-hand side is 95% of the global population only shares 5% of the wealth going around. Okay. So there's a little pot of money there that needs to be shared by a lot of people. And that is why the poor are getting poorer. So Robert says, we need to shift our minds to the right hand side of the good round. We either become a business owner. And when we're talking business owners, we're talking big businesses like your pick and pays um, or franchises like a mug and bean. Okay. So these are plug and play systems. The owners of those businesses don't really know who's coming in or who's going out. All that they know is they've got a system that's working for them and they are making money out of the system. But not all of us is sitting with six or seven million in our bank accounts to start up a business. So then we need to look at the next best option, which is investing. So Robert says, if you invest your money in the right places and in the right opportunities, your money will work for you and you will get paid while you are sleeping. And he says, as soon as you can do that, then you can call yourself wealthy. Now on the other side of the coin, okay, the difference here is from the left hand side, that only a small portion, okay, only 5% of the global population shares 95% of the wealth. So a small amount of people has this big pot of money that they can share from. And um, that is why the rich are getting richer. Right. So that's just a little slide to get you guys thinking a bit. To let your mind start, to let start, let your mind go. And uh, we are now going to take it further and get into the business side of things. So our company, as I've mentioned, we mine Bitcoin. Guys, we're not going to go into too many, much detail. For those of you who are not familiar with Bitcoin and what Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is. In short, okay, crypto is digital. So Bitcoin and crypto is digital and global money system. It's a peer to peer technology. All payments are recorded on a public ledger and Bitcoin is cash for the internet. So we strongly believe that cryptocurrencies is the next step in the evolution of money. Right. I mean, we come from the, the bartering system into the gold era and then we moved on to metal coins and paper money. And from there, we started going into the digital age. We started using credit and debit cards. Okay. We started using cell phone banking and online banking. So everything is moving in that direction. So Bitcoin is digital. You will never hold a Bitcoin in your hand ever. It's all digitalized. And this is the future, guys. This is definitely the next step in the evolution of money. And that is why us, the early adopt adapters, will have an advantage as to when the world finally decides to use cryptocurrencies as the major, uh, major source of uh, of money, if I can call it like that. So Bitcoins can be sent from anywhere in the world. No bank can block payments or close your account. So what we're doing is we're cutting out the middleman. Okay, you're not taking control of your money. Bitcoin is global and is not affected by any single country's financial situation or stability. Right, so how do you participate? How can you own some Bitcoin? For the people in South Africa, the three most popular wallets out there is called Luno, Valr, V-A-L-R, and then Altcoin Trader, which is an exchange. Okay, so guys, the new people who's not familiar, 
these are crypto wallets these are platforms and apps where about where you can store your crypto and your bitcoin as with your banking app where you store your money okay and in your bank accounts this is where you store your crypto so in order for you to own some bitcoin you can download luna or val r from your app store it's for free you then register it's a quick process and then you make it a beneficiary in your bank account once it's a beneficiary in your bank account you can transfer some money into luno once your money is in luno you can then purchase bitcoin and then you have bitcoin then you can do what they call buy and hold where you purchase bitcoin for a certain price and as the bitcoin price then shoots up you can sell and you make a profit but we have a bit of a problem with that because if you buy bitcoin today for let's say 150,000 rand apologies for the guys um, from other countries i'm going to talk in rands 150,000 rand okay and the bitcoin price goes up to 300,000 and you sell now you've made a good profit of 150,000 but now you're basically out of the game because how will you now afford your next bitcoin Right, you're going to either have to wait for the price to drop and I can almost guarantee you're going to have to use some of your profits to buy your next Bitcoin. And that is why we say Bitcoin mining is the way to go. Okay, because when you mine Bitcoin, you actually accumulate coin on a daily basis, which means in a week from now, I will have more coins than what I have today. In a year's time from now, I will have quite a couple of more coins than what I have today. So the whole idea behind Bitcoin mining is to accumulate coin. So then when the Bitcoin price in the next couple of years goes up to a hundred thousand US dollars, okay, then you are sitting with a couple of coins and each coin is worth that amount. And you are sitting with a nice pot of cash in your wallet, right? Okay. So what is Bitcoin mining guys? It plays two major roles in maintaining the Bitcoin network. It's confirming of transactions and issuing of new coins because all those computers that you've seen over there on the video as well those little white computers um, they all get a code that goes into them the first computer or miner that solves that code confirms the transaction and another bitcoin is then issued so our company specializes in two products mainly bitcoin that is how we started off and then the new kid on the block is bitcoin vault so Bitcoin has been around for about 12 years. It was launched in 2008, whereas Vault was only launched launched in end of November 2019. But Vault is doing extremely well, and we will talk about it. Just a little bit of comparison between the two coins for your information. Okay, so I'll be talking about Bitcoin and about Vault to not confuse you. So Bitcoin will have 21 million coins that will be mined in its lifetime. Okay, only 21 million. We have mined about 18 million of that 21 million. So there's only about 3 million Bitcoin left. But however, the last coin will only be mined in the year 2140. It's over 100 years from now. Okay. So how does that happen? Every four years, there's an event that takes place called the halving. So what the halving is, um, let's say before the halving took place two weeks back. Okay. Every 10 minutes in the blockchain, okay, every 10 minutes in a block, there was 12.5 Bitcoin issued every 10 minutes. When the halving took place, they cut in half that amount of Bitcoin. So what happened then after the halving that was cut and then every 10 minutes, the block was only generating 6.25 Bitcoin. So the Bitcoin gets lesser and lesser and scarcer every four years. And it's because of this scarcity that people actually have a higher demand for it. And that obviously drives the price. Bitcoin transactions cannot be reversed, okay? Um, whereas Vault can actually do that. Vault will also have 21 million Bitcoin to be mined in its lifetime. The biggest difference here is that Vault will be halved every six months instead of every four years. So why? The whole idea behind Vault is that they want Vault to catch up with the Bitcoin price within the next four to five years. Which means that if Bitcoin in the next five years stands on 100,000 US dollars, they want Vault to be at the same price in the next five years time. Because in the way this coin has been going, it's on track to actually achieve that. It's because Vault was actually launched at the end of November last year for $1. It's currently sitting on about $185 thereabout. 
Okay, so it's been doing extremely well. Right, so Vault also, the big pulling force for Vault is going to be the fact that you can actually reverse a transaction within 24 hours. You cannot do that with any other cryptocurrency. So you actually have 24 hours time to reverse a transaction when you realize you've maybe made a mistake, send it to the wrong address or whatever the case may be. So although Vault has got a lower value per coin at the moment, it does yield a much higher return and reward for its miners. So, guys, if you want to invest into a mining package or you want to own a piece of a Bitcoin miner, this is what the package prices looks like. These are our entry level packages. You have your prime, primary for $300, your standard for $600 and your bronze for $1,200. The people in South Africa must just go and do the exchange according to the exchange rate today to see what it is in Rand value. Okay. Um, keep in mind those values go up and down every day on a daily basis so so you can just maybe go and do that um, conversion yourself so what do you get for your money that you put in if you buy a package you immediately get three years worth of mining a thousand one hundred days okay but we will show you later on in the presentation how that actually becomes for the rest of your life after you've purchased your package you will start mining in 10 days time so in 10 days time after purchase, you will start mining and you will get paid on a daily basis. At the bottom, just some technical information. The type of miner that we use is a Watts Miner M21S and then the hash rate, very important. The hash rate is the speed at which that computer actually mines Bitcoin. As you will see, the higher your investment and the higher your package, the higher the hash rate as well. The binary points at the bottom, we're not going to worry too much about it now. We're going to talk about it in the second half of the presentation. So let's just concentrate on the mining values and the packages. So what are your returns on your investment for the entry level packages? People, this is what you can get. And depending on where in the world you are coming from or listening in this evening, for the South African people, you can go and do the calculation. This is about four times the return you will get in any bank for that same investment. Okay, so it's still very good. Still a very good investment. And what you need to keep in mind is that if Bitcoin price goes up and let's say Bitcoin by next year, this time is sitting on 30, 40,000 US dollars, which the guys are predicting, then you will earn three to four times that amount that you see on the screen now. So that's the potential. That's why you want to accumulate. You want to sit for the next two or three years accumulate coin and as the bitcoin price then goes up so will your returns and your profits right so now we go into the top accounts the top three accounts in the business the silver the gold and the platinum so silver is sitting on two thousand four hundred dollars per package your gold four thousand two hundred and your platinum on twelve thousand six hundred same principles apply everything is exactly the same and then here is the returns that you can expect and remember, guys, these are estimated returns. Why do we say that? Because this is based on the current um, Bitcoin price. And because Bitcoin is a currency and it fluctuates, okay, that is why we can only give estimates. We can't give 100% accurate figures. So as the Bitcoin price goes up, so will your profits. If the Bitcoin price goes down, then you will mine a bit less. But as you can see, there's still very good profits. And Bitcoin will always be a good investment. Now, the new kid on the block, Vault. This is the one that everybody is ranting and raving about, and there's good reason for it. Let me show you where that comes from. Guys, packages on Vault is exactly the same pricing. Exactly the same pricing. Okay. The difference comes in at the profits, your returns. So, as you can see, this is about the vault actually gives you six to seven times more returns than the Bitcoin currently. Okay. So guys, this is awesome. This is just amazing. I, I don't know if you've had any investment or know of anything else that pays you the same dividends or gives you the same returns. Then you need to get in contact with us quickly so that we can also put us, our, our money there and make some more. Okay. The miners are yielding extremely good returns at this stage on vault. It is um, awesome. We are very excited about it. And uh, we are enjoying our returns currently. And everyone that has a vault package will tell you and can actually show you how much they are earning 
on a daily, weekly, and a monthly basis. So these are the returns for the entry level packages. And um, let's now go to the top of the range. Guys, so this is what it looks like, okay? Same packages, here are the returns. Look at that. On a silver package, $300 monthly estimate. Gold, $600 estimated. Platinum, about $1,800. For the people in South Africa, on a gold package, you mine anything between 12,000 to 14,000 Rand monthly, okay? And on your platinum package, you can look at anything between 56,000 to 60,000 Rand a month. Guys, that's awesome. It means that you actually make back your investment within five or six months. And from there on, everything is just profits. Okay. So I hope this gets you excited because if this doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. So that is what our packages looks like. That is how you can invest in a Bitcoin miner. And that is the returns that you can expect from your miner. Okay. This is just a quick screenshot, a snapshot of someone's platinum package that started mining. This was the first day's return. So within a day, they earned $107, right? So if you take that $107 times 30 equals 3,210 per month. If we then converted it back to rands, you get about 56,300 rands for that month. So extremely, extremely good returns. And people can actually show you this in their back offices. Then something else that we are busy with, something else that we are busy with in testing is the credit cards, the debit cards, okay? So as soon as this has been tested and it becomes available, it will obviously be broadcasted to the Mining City members, okay? And um, you will obviously pay a certain fee for the card, but then you can use it and there is also limits. So the silver, the gold and the black will have certain limits set to it and you can then decide which card will work best for you. So what this card will do for you people is that where now you have to basically withdraw your Bitcoin from your mining city back office into your wallet and then exchange it for your currency in your country before moving it to your bank account. With this card, you can transfer your Bitcoin directly from mining city to your card. When you then swipe this card, it automatically converts Bitcoin to your currency in your country. Right. So it's going to make the process so much easier. And there are a lot of benefits associated with this as well. So as soon as this becomes available, there's going to be exciting times. We will be taking back um, ownership of our money, right? It won't be controlled by other people, which we won't name. Will, our money will now be controlled by us ourselves. Right. So if you want to become an investor and start mining within 10 working days, okay, you, you purchase the plan of your choice. Also remember that you can always upgrade your plan to the next plan. So you can start with a certain plan. You can start with a standard. You can upgrade to a bronze, then a silver, then a gold, and then a platinum. Or you can buy as many packages as you want. So if you can afford a platinum package, you can and you can buy five of them, then you buy five. You will get daily Bitcoin mining payouts. So we get paid every day. Okay, every day you'll accumulate some coin and have some profits that goes into your wallet. It's a hundred percent passive income. There's no maintenance plan, and you pay once and never again. The only other time you will pay again, right, is when you want to upgrade or purchase more packages. That's the only other time that you will pay again. So, people, this is the investment side of the business. Okay. The business has got two sides. This was the first side of the business, the investment side, where you invest in a miner, you get your returns on a monthly basis, it's 100% passive, you don't have to lift a finger. Now, there's a second side of the business, and we call it building your business. It's your typical network marketing, right? So, for those of you, okay, who, who likes this kind of a thing, or even those of you who think that you can't do network marketing, People, we network market on a daily basis, every day of our lives. Because if you see a special at the shop, you actually go and tell your friends and family about it, you are marketing for that company or that business. The only problem is that you don't get paid for marketing them. Yeah, when you market the business and you bring some people in, you actually get paid and you get rewarded. Guys, this is not compulsory. You don't have to do this side of the business, right? But if you want to earn an extra income, if you want to make a living for yourself, 
or make this um, your number one choice, um, then you can do it. So it's all up to you. You decide what you want to do. You can always start as an investor and then become a builder or just hit it straight on from the get go. So when you are interested in building the business, you will have an opportunity to earn five different streams of income. This is all over and above your mining. So there are full share bonuses. There's a $200 buy and recycle bonus, a $10 team matching bonus, repurchases, and also ranks. Like in any other FLM company, network milking company, there's builders. And obviously with each rank, there are certain benefits. So let's start with the full share bonuses. So what the full share bonuses is, is that when you bring, when you tell five people about Mining City and you can bring five people into the company, okay, the, the um, system will automatically put that five people in your team A. And you will then earn 5% commission on the value of the package that they've purchased. Then from your six person onto infinity, the system places them in team B and there you will earn 10% of the value of their package. So if you manage, if you are on your six member and you manage to bring in a gold package, that same evening you will get rewarded with $420 as commission, as a bonus. Okay, once off. This, this little guys in the, these guys in the yellow jackets that you see there, we call them the business builders. These are the guys that go out there and get people and build the business. They actually make a living for themselves out of this. So the system requires of you to have at least one builder in your team A and also one builder in your team B. So these are the full share bonuses. This is the first stream of income that you can make on the business building side of it. Now we go into the binary tree. So those of you familiar with network marketing, you will know what this is. The new people, this is what the binary tree looks like. As of any other network marketing company, Guys, and this is a structure that is used worldwide in any company, in corporate, in governments, whatever. This is what it looks like. You have your CEO on top, your board of directors at the bottom, your managers, and then your workers, right? The only difference here is now you are the CEO of your own business. So in order for you to generate a $200 cycle, what needs to happen? Okay, so you need to get the system requires of you to have five credits on your left and five credits on your right. So this is you. You have a left side of your leg, your binary tree, and you have a right side of your binary tree, okay? So where do you get the credits from? As you can see on top here, each package has a certain amount of credits associated with it, okay? So for the sake of this exercise, to make it easier for everyone, we're gonna use the gold package, which is seven credits. So if this is your structure, you now have a couple of people in here already, okay? And you then come and you bring in two gold packages from two different people. And we're going to use these yellow guys at the bottom. So you place one gold package on the left-hand side. As you can see, that seven credits goes to the guy on the top, to his right-hand side, the person above him to his left-hand side, and you will get seven credits on your left-hand side. You then place the other gold package on your right-hand side, in your right leg of the tree, and the same applies. The seven credits feed all the way up to you. You will have seven left and seven right. The system only requires five and five for the cycle. So that evening, automatically, the system will come and take its five credits, left and right. And you will be left with a balance of two left and two right. And that will give you a $200 cycle that same evening. In South African Ranch, you're looking at about 3,600, 3,700 Rand that same evening. Okay, so what's nice about it guys, and this is what teamwork is all about. The harder the team works together, the better everyone benefits out of it. Okay, because even although the structure is 100 levels down, if someone at the bottom there puts in a platinum package, those 21 credits comes through the structure, through the tree, all the way up to the guy sitting at the top, right? So that's what's nice about it. Also, what happens? If you happen to have five credits on your right hand side, but you only have four credits left. So you need one more credit in order to generate a cycle. Okay. Then your upline, the guys sitting above you in the structure, they can come in here and have a look and see, well, there's a little spot open in the structure here below this person. 
They put their standard package and they assist you with generating a cycle. And obviously by doing that, the system will reward them with a certain amount, which we will talk about just now, but it's all about teamwork, guys. We are here to help each other. We are here to work together. We are here to grow and to make money. The difference in this business also is, is normally, because people, when they see this, they immediately go and they say, it's a pyramid scheme, right? Guys, in your typical pyramid schemes, it's only the guy sitting on the top that makes all the money, right? In this business, depending on how hard you work, okay, the person on the left-hand side at the bottom here can be making more money than the person sitting on top. Although he will benefit from all the credits that this person pushes through, remember, this person will be earning commissions and additional bonuses. And this person won't if he sits back and does nothing. Right. So it all depends on how hard you want to work the system and that will determine how much money you can actually make out of this opportunity. So I hope this is clear, guys. I hope you understand how you generate the cycle. I know it is a lot of information, especially the first time around. And that's why we always ask people to come back and come and listen to us again on Saturday mornings at 11, if you might have missed something. And also what happens is we know that there's questions that pop up afterwards. So if you don't, if you don't remember what did you wanted to ask this evening, you can always get in contact with us and we will help you. So I hope this makes sense. Let's now go to the third stream of income. Oh, no, no, wait, let's first talk about the cycles, apologies. So the cycles that we were just talking about, depending on your rank, there's a certain limit to your cycles on a daily basis. So when you start off as a citizen in the business, you only have four cycles per day, or you can only cycle four times daily, which is to the value of $800. As you can see then, as you climb the ranks, your cycles per day gets more, and it's to motivate people to actually build a business and to rank up, okay? Because there are benefits, obviously. And then once you get to a governor, these governors can cycle up to 14 times on a daily basis. People, that is up to $2,800 a day. And we do have people in the business making that kind of a money and more, okay? So there are benefits in ranking up because what happens is if you are a citizen and you can only cycle four times per day, and a lot of credits comes through and there's six cycles sitting there, you will only be paid for the four, the balance of the two you will lose. That is why it is imperative for everyone to see how high they can climb the ranks because there will just be more money that will come to your pocket. Right. Okay. Binary team matching bonuses, guys. Remember when I said when your upline comes and they assist you to generate that $200 cycle. So when the upline does that, they actually get rewarded by the system an additional $10. So if they happen to assist three people in their team to cycle that evening, um, that same evening they will get rewarded with $30. So just, just um, some more money coming into your wallet. Then repurchases. I've kept it on the top three plans, guys, because the same principles apply on every package, okay? So when you have your miner, when you purchase your miner, you can actually go and set your miner on, let's say, a 20% repurchase, which means that 80% of the money comes to your pocket, the profits, and then 20% goes back into the system and the company uses that for maintenance and upgrades and some of it gets reinvested. Okay. So once that 20%, let's talk silver package. Once that 20% repurchase going back into the system has made up 1% of your package value, which is $24, then your team A will be paid 10%, your team B 20%. Now it looks like small amounts, $2.4, $4.8. But guys, as you grow your business and your teams, you can be sitting with 20 or 30 pages of this on a daily basis. Then when you start adding up $2 and $3 and $4 over that amount of pages, all of a sudden that also becomes a lot of money. And people actually say that this does become your biggest stream of income at the end of the day. Right. Also, what I want to say on the repurchases while we are on this point is that um, maybe I must just go to the next slide because then it will be much clearer. Okay. What also happens just with the repurchase is once it's made up the 1% of your package value, right, the system automatically opens up an additional three years mining share for you in the system. So you will get an additional 1,100 days worth of mining, additional three years. And that is, people, why we say you will mine for the rest of your life. 
because every two months or so you will get an additional three years which means that within a year you can have 20 or 30 years worth of mining sitting in your account if you for instance do not put your miner on a percentage of repurchase and you keep it on zero for three years so you never change it it means that you will not open up additional shares for you in that account so after three years then that account will then come to an end that mining share and you will then have to purchase a plan again and start again from the top however if you do use the repurchases and you set it on a 10 or 20 percent you will mine for the rest of your life okay so i hope that is clear as well guys then the ranks okay like in any business there's ranks certain ranks so i'm just quickly going to run you through it um your starter rank or one of your starter ranks doesn't matter which package you own is a citizen right okay in order for you then to become a builder you need to sponsor five citizens you need to bring five citizens into the company and have a sales volume of 12,000 US dollars. So please keep in mind that the sales enrollment tree volume is not you yourself. It's your you and your downline. You and your team needs to accumulate this in order and you just need to bring in the five people in order for you to rank up to a boulder. If you then want to become a developer, you need to have three city boulders in your team and you and your team need to have a sales volume of 60,000 US dollars. Guys, this can happen quickly. Some people become developers in a matter of weeks, where other people, it takes them three months or six months or whatever the case may be. It all depends on how hard you work the system and how coachable your team is that you can teach them to basically duplicate what you know. Because this game is all about duplication. And if you can teach people to duplicate what you do, then obviously your team and your structure will grow very fast. Then some of the top ranks in the business, your city managers, your chief manager, and your city mayors. Guys, these are the people that's really the hard workers in the company, right? These people put in anything between 12 and 16 hours a day in this business because these people had a mind change and they are thinking a bit different about their lives and how they want to spend it and how they want to make money because they made the decision that they don't want to work for a boss for 40 years in order to make the boss rich so that they cannot retire one day, they decided that they are willing to go and put in the work and the hours for the next three to five years in order for them to retire early and have a good life and be financially free. Okay. So same principles apply. If you want to become a manager, you need to have three city developers and a sales volume of 300,000. And so it goes on and it goes on. So if three of your downline can upgrade to the next level, that will then push you then to the following rank. Okay. Then this has been added now recently, a governor. This is the top dogs in the company. <laughs> These people have massive, massive structures and big teams under them, right? Because they need to have three city mayors in their team and they need to have a sales, a total enrollment tree volume of a hundred million dollars. So as you can see, these people don't sit back and wait for money to come to them. They go and they fetch it. And because they work so hard, the company obviously rewards them for their efforts. So guys, these are once off bonuses that you can earn when you rank up, right? So when you become a builder, you can get rewards paid in Bitcoin of a hundred dollars. So a um, hundred dollars cash equivalent rewarded in Bitcoin will be paid into your wallet when you become a builder. When you become a developer, it will be $250, okay? And then when you become a manager, you will actually get $3,500 US dollars and also a MindBest Small S1 mobile phone. If you haven't seen this phone already, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome piece of technology. And um, I think in South African rands, you will pay, I think close to about 20,000 rand for this phone. So a truly, truly good addition to the little bonus and reward that you can get once you become a manager. So when you um, achieve the rank of chief manager, okay, 50,000 US dollars as a once off bonus, or you can decide to get a vehicle instead for that same value. So here they've put a Mercedes Benz E-Class. Okay. So it depends on what type of car you would like for that same value. When you become a mayor, you get a hundred thousand dollar once off bonus check, or again, a vehicle of the same value and then guys a governor 
gets 350,000 US dollars as a once-off bonus or an apartment of their choice anywhere in the world for the same value. So this is not bad. I hope the company you are currently working for pays you bonuses, okay? And I hope the bonuses looks quite a lot similar to what I've shown you just now. Remember people, this is over and above your mining. This is over and above your five streams of income that you are making out of the business. This is, like I've mentioned, a once-off bonus for the company rewarding you for the hard work that you have done for them. So we're almost done. We've got two or three slides left. What I'm going to show you next, guys, is just a little video of the launch that we had um, the 26th of October last year in South Africa, where the CEOs actually came down and we had a nice event and we had some fun. We were close to about 300, 400 people for the day. And when this happens again, hopefully by the end of next year, we are expecting about two or 3,000 people at that same event. So just have a quick look and then we will start wrapping things up. some fun and there was a, some very good and inspiring testimonies that came out of that event um, and you truly need to surround yourself with people who motivate you and who's positive and people that you can actually learn from and use as mentors in order to become successful in this business so these are just some pictures that was taken so on the left hand side top there's Bactus our leader in the East Rand okay and EL and then Bactus's wife Krista and then in the middle there, it is Bertus and Greg. And then just a picture of some people there having a good time. Guys, and then at the bottom right here, that guy in the middle, they call him Mr. Bitcoin. His book is also called Mr. Bitcoin. You can actually go and purchase it, right? And you can see how this young chap became a millionaire at the young age of 21 by investing in Bitcoin. Then in the middle here at the bottom, the guy on the right there, his name is John. John is still very young, I think in his early 30s. So young, um, John is one of the top ranked people in our business. So to give you an idea, John probably mines more now, okay? He probably mines more now, especially with Vault. But at a stage, John was mining in between 1.5 and 2 Bitcoin on a daily basis. So for the South African people, that means that he was making about 250,000 to 300,000 Rand on a daily basis, right? just out of his mining. So, what I have failed to mention to you on the previous slides when we were talking about the bonuses, guys, is what the income potential is in this business. Okay, so um, try not to fall off your chairs. But once you reach the rank of a manager, all the way up to a governor, these people earn anything of between 300,000 Rand to 6 million Rand on a monthly basis. Okay. So yeah, let that sink in. This is the type of money people make out of this business. This is the potential. It all depends on how hard you are willing to work for it. The day after the launch, EL met with Mr. Ramaphosa. So Mr. Ramaphosa and his son is heavily invested into the company as well. His son actually drives the fourth industrial revolution in South Africa. Okay, they are all about technology and evolution and all of that. So. Uh, one thing we know about Mr. Ramaphosa, he's a businessman, so he obviously also saw the potential and the opportunity. And him and his son, and his son especially, is a very good ambassador also for Mining City. Right, people, and that brings us to the end of this presentation for this evening. 
Um, as I've mentioned, okay, people need to take control of their financial future. 